How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another little video here. This video is going to be on the Craig Jig. It's the R3. Uh, we got a big project coming up. You, know, you guys know we're going to be building the box trailer into a camper and I thought I'd build my own cabinets. Uh, anything that I want inside this thing I'm going to build myself. So I went and picked one of these tools up and I'm going to give you guys, I'm going to show you what the tool looks like, give you a little de demonstration on how it works and what parts I'm going to be using on what, what it would be good used for. So let me show you what comes in it, what it is, what type of tool it is. Now I have a couple pieces of wood here I'm going to be using to demonstrate how this thing works and what this does is it will mount, we'll be able to mount these two uh, boards together, we'll be able to screw them together. Uh, by drilling the holes in an angle. So this is what it, this is what it is. This is the Craig's tool, Craig tool, uh, Craig Jig R3. See that right here. And uh, it's just a small one. They actually have bigger ones, uh, uh, maybe even a little better. Come with more stuff. But I'm just going to be doing this box trailer, and I figured this is probably be about all that I need on this project. So, uh, this one I think was $42 after tax, $42 some. Uh, let me get you up here a little closer. We'll show you what it came with. This is your jig. This is the piece you're going to mount on your um, piece of wood. And they actually make a clamp for this, and actually this video is more about that clamp than it is about this jig. So you got this here. And on the back of this, as you look right here, you can see it has uh, all your inches right here. You set it for what thickness of board you want just by pushing down on this thing and sliding it out. There's three quarter inch, one inch, and I think this will go up to inch and a half which would be basically a 2 by 4 So you just use those and you just either side you could push them out and adjust them to where whatever thickness wood you got. So let's get see what else we got here. Here we have our drill bit. This is your drill bit you're going to be using in it. This is going to be your stopper. This thing here stops the drill bit from going any, any further. That will stop your drill bit from going in any deeper so once you tighten your, your little Allen screw. And there's actually a little gauge. I see they give us some, extra, some screws here to get started with, which is nice. And a few plugs. Oh, I'm sure they sell a bunch of these, so you could use, you know, pick up some of them too. They give you the Allen wrench. And then here is your drill bit for your screws. This is the bit for your screws. It's a square bit. Now on this setup here, you put your drill, this bit back in here, and then if you look, it has different settings for the thickness of wood. You just slide it to the setting that you want. If you're using half inch, you go all the way up. Five eighths. And we got quarter, what is that? We got a can't see it. Okay. Now I can see it. <clears throat> so you got to set your drill bit. You just set it on what size thickness your wood is. Look right here. There's half inch all the way in. You can go down to five eighths, three quarter, and it just keep going bigger. Five eighths or seven eighths, one inch, inch and a quarter, all the way up to an inch and a half. You can see all the sizes on both sides. So that's, we're going to set it on there. you think they would have marked the drill, but they didn't. But that's okay. So we're going to do a little demonstration on this. And I'm going to show you just a little bit more about this piece here and the clamp. They actually sell a clamp for this uh, that slides into this and clamps onto your workbench. And uh, I myself have watched a few videos on this tool uh, to see how it's used. And I noticed every single person that used this uh, tool right here, besides 
Uh, I think the one that I looked might have been from the company, one of them ads from the company. They didn't have a problem because they had a table that had the clamp for this. So they sell one for about $16 and they sell one for about $26. And I'm going to show you the one I paid $5 for. Let me grab it real quick. This sort of looks like the tool, and I'll tell you where this came from. It came from Harvard Freight. It says lifetime warranty, but it won't have that anymore because I modified these to work on my jig. Okay. Now, every jig they had had these on both sides. Mine don't. I put a little square block on here and drilled four holes in it, which will be mounted underneath of my workbench. So whatever I'm working with, I'll mount it under a one by or whatever. And then this piece here, let me adjust this open a little bit more. This piece here will slide right on this exactly like theirs. This is the same setup as they have. Now, that's what you buy when you get in town but you don't get the square plate. You get another round one like this. This one will swivel on here just like theirs. And all that is on there is a washer. I welded the washer on here. We open these guys up. You can see I just welded the washer on here. Put a couple little beads on both sides of weld. I drilled a hole through this square piece and welded the center on it and then put a little bead on this side and a little bead on that side. So now I can screw this to the bottom of my table and no matter where I go, I don't have to worry about fumbling around with this clamp. Now you guys out there at Craig's Jig should build a tool like this so nobody has to mess around with fumbling around with it. So we're gonna go ahead and get this guy set up and uh, we'll get to trying it out. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount uh, my jig right on this bench. I use these saw horses all the time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my bench or my saw horse, I'm gonna flip it upside down and I'm gonna take my clamp and I'm gonna screw it right to the bottom of this. I'm gonna screw it right in here, right on the bottom. I'm gonna try to get it in the center of the board the best I can. And we're going to put four screws in this. Now mind you, I've never tried this tool. You see it? I just built it. And now we're going to try it. If it don't work, you'll get to see it don't work. Okay, we've got the clamp clamped on there. It's nice and tight. I'm going to go ahead and flip this guy over and try it out. Okay, we got our clamp hooked down to the table over here. The very first thing I want to do before I do anything is I want to measure the thickness of this wood. We got to make sure we have the right thickness and it's 5 eighths of an inch thick. Now you want to come over to this thing on the back of here. Get some more light on the thing. Uh, on the back of this we want to make sure we're at 5 eighths. So each one of these marks looks to be about an eighth of an inch. So. I got this on an inch and then one mark. So that would be your eighth and then that would be your three quarter. I did the same thing with the other side. So that's on five eighths. Then we want to bring our little tool piece here. This is our drill bit. And we want to make sure that we adjust this guy right here up to the five eighths mark. And the only thing we're going to do is take our little Allen thing out of here Push the drill bit down in there so it's decently in there, pretty decently snug. And we're going to move this guy up to 5 8. And if you see right there on the side, it's right at 5 8. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to tighten this down. Now, I wouldn't suggest over tightening this stuff. You want it to where it doesn't come loose, but yet you don't want to strip that out. Um, so just give it a nice little snug. It don't have to don't have to go crazy on it. And we're right at our 5 8 mark. You can see that? Right on the 5 8 So we'll get this guy mounted up in our drill. Okay, 
Now, I'm going to go ahead, I have this guy set up in the drill, and we're going to go ahead and slide this onto our clamp. And this is the clamp that we built. Okay? And then all we have to do is take our piece of wood, slide it in here until it goes right up against the bottom blocks. Those two little things we set on the bottom, and give it a little click down. Now, like I said, this is the first time I ever used this thing, so hopefully nothing goes wrong. I'm not sure how much pressure I can put on this. I might do just a little bit more. And all that does, you just got to adjust your back screw. I'm trying to get it centered up in there. Decent. Okay. That's not too bad. Now, I don't know, I'm going to see if I can drill two holes in this guy, because if I was putting that and using it as a cabinet or something, I may want two holes. It's not a really wide piece of wood. It looks to be about an inch and a half. So, now I noticed every time people would do their review or whatever on this drill, when they're drilling these, some people had slow drills, some people had fast. But if you noticed, the fast there you run your drill the nicer it works now this jig has holes up in the front so you don't have to sit there and ream it in and out you should be able to push that thing straight down in there and it should make a nice perfect hole so we're going to just take it we don't want to we want to start the drill before it actually goes down in there so we're going to just do it like this Okay, now we're going to pull it out of there and see what it looks like. Those are pretty much two perfect holes in there. We'll try it one more time. We'll do this one more time. I wanted to give you guys a little better look and we'll get some of the dust out of the way. We'll set that back down on there, same way we had it on there before. Try to center it up and lock it into place. Now we should be able to drill two more holes just like we did on that side on this side. Two perfect holes they come pretty much right out in the center and that's where you want your holes to come out you can see just a little one started right there but uh, that's perfect so this jig like I said this clamp now I don't have to if I wanted to drill one in the side of this I could come down here put it right up against there clamp it on drill one in the side let's see how this works right there and it works great so that's just a little demonstration on how that works another little cool feature with this thing is is you could just take your thumb and push on this and it pops it right off it has two little clips right there and then when you're ready to put it back on just slide it in there snap it right back into place so let's take that off and then if you look right here, just take these guys and push them clean off the other edge. Or you could flip them over if you'd like. I'm just going to take them all the way off. Let's see. Okay, now we're going to try to make this guy portable. So we can take it and use it without having a clamp at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a screw and I'm going to put a screw down in through here. We'll take that to the edge of the board 
And I'm just gonna run a screw down in here. Okay, now I got that on there nice and tight. If I needed to take this out somewhere else and use it, and I just wanted to put a screw in a board, I could take that, leave it clamped in there just like that, get our drill bit, and go ahead and drill our hole. Take this back off. Now mind you though, you're gonna have <clears throat> you're gonna have that hole in there, you're gonna have to patch that little hole. But just you also got a nice hole here to go ahead and screw it up through. So if you wanted to screw this to your ceiling or screw it to the wall and you didn't have one of these, you could always do it that way. Alright, another thing I wanted to show you guys is in your book. In your owner's manual, <clears throat> if you look, they got a chart for all the screws, the thickness of the material, the screw length, everything is in your book. So it's not going to be hard for you to figure out. All you have to do is look at your book. Uh, and then you can pick up the screws for what size material that you're going to be using. So that's makes it a lot easier so you know exactly what size screw you need. And I figured I'd videotape this so if I ever lose this I can always look back on my video, find this, and I'll know exactly what size screw to use. Alright, here's a closer look at my uh, clamp that I'd made. <clears throat> it's about two and an eighth inches wide. It's about two and a half inches long. I drilled a three quarter inch hole in the center welded it shut, welded it right to these piece right here and then I put a bead up here on this side and a bead on that side. This is an inch and three quarter inch washer. I welded the inside of it to the clamp and I put a bead on this side and a small bead on that side and I think that makes for a good uh, clamp I think it, like I said, I think, I think it cost me $5.08 for this clamp. And all I had to do is do a little bit of a modification to it and weld these pieces on it. I think it will last me a long time. Alright, in your packet, when you get your uh, jig, now this was, like I said, a little cheaper one. I think it was like $39.42 something after tax. You'll get several packs of these screws in here when you buy it. Looks to be about five different sizes of screws. So that'll get you started uh, so you can figure out how to use it. And then I wanted to show you again the little clamp I made, which works pretty good for me because it's going to hold it into place. I don't ever have to worry about, I'll take this off the bench when I'm done working with it. But while I'm working, all I have to do is just keep, keep clicking my three-quarter inch wood in there. Now, if I decide I'm going to use a thicker piece of wood, don't forget, I'm going to have to adjust those two rods on the side to match the thickness of wood that I'm going to be uh, drilling holes in. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, a comment if you'd like. Till next time.